Hello, dears. Welcome to Beauty by Heart. I'm Dilay, also known as Lulu. Today, I'm lucky to share with you, dears, the Milani new products review. Lucky because I was lucky to win a Milani giveaway last Christmas. Yay! So in this video, I'll be doing the products demo, review, and my most three favorite products of them all here. These products are either new to me or they are new in Singapore. So hopefully this video can serve you as a guideline. If you are new to my channel, hello and welcome. If you happen to like this video, please consider to subscribe. And for all of you dears who are watching my video right now, thank you so much for watching. It's my blessing to have you dears here. And now, let's get started. Uh -oh. Last Christmas, Meloni is doing some Christmas giveaway and I'm very lucky to win this which is the Most Wanted Eyeshadow Palette. This is the color 130 Burning Desire. Unfortunately, it came in broken. The last two colors were broken into powder and they contaminated the whole palette. I'm so thick skin. <laughs> I approached Meloni and request for an exchange if that's possible for them. And <laughs> Milani didn't replace me, this eyeshadow palette. But they are so kind to me, they gave me four more products as an apology. So these are the four products. Whoa, so generous of them! Yeah! Okay, since this came in broken, I wanted to buy this. So I went to a few Milani that's nearby me and also the big Milani store in town, which is at Boogies. Not Milani store, Watson's. Watson's carries Milani, but not all Watson's has them. So I went to the few Watson's that carries them, including the one at Boogies, which is a big store. I don't know, I just feel kind of sad and pathetic when I see their stores. It's like, especially for the small neighborhood store, their shelf seems quite empty. Their stock seems very limited and comes in very limited variety. The Boogie's Beat Store is better. They have more stocks. However, their varieties of products reduce from the previous time. Cross fingers, I really hope that Milani is not pulling out from Singapore. So early this year, I met up with my YouTube friend Chow. And she is so kind to me, she gave me this new unopened concealer from Milani too. Chow is from Indonesia and now stays in Singapore. She is a beauty YouTuber specializing in doing creative makeup. And recently she likes to do entertaining YouTube shorts video. So if you dears love a laugh or a smile, please hop over to her channel after this video. I will link her channel in the description box below as well as the iCard here. And for myself, I bought these three cheap keys liquid blush. So previously, I bought the full range of their fetish matte lipstick as well as their shine lipsticks. And I already did a swatch and review video. So if you just are curious to know how these lipsticks perform, you may like to refer to my review video. I will attach the link in the description box below as well as on the iCard. So these are so far the new products. And let me start off with the face product first. I can't find this color at Watson website. This was given to me by my friend Chow. Chow gave me two colors to choose from. I chose this lighter color which is light nude and apply on my under eye area. So this is the typical area where I will apply concealer and on my random pimples. It comes in this kind of flat two foot applicator. I just apply three dots on my under eye and blend this with a sponge blender. The concealer texture is thick and creamy, easy to blend out with the sponge blender. It offers full coverage and is long lasting. This concealer is indeed full coverage and the texture is thick. So much so that my under eye area appears more lumpy than usual. <laughs> my under eye area is dry with lumps and textured and this is mature and I also have lines over here. Even when I apply this Smashbox Hydrating Under Eye Primer before the concealer, my under eye still appears lumpy with lines. This concealer is not designed for my skin. Based on my experience, this concealer is not great for dry skin, 
or with textured mature skin. So great coverage, not for me. Milani is well known for their pretty rose blusher. So they gave me this color Blossom Time, which is a rosy color in setting formula. Many years ago, way before Milani comes to Singapore, I already bought their tea rose. This is more of a pinky rosy color in matte formula. And because this is so pretty, just look at the floral prints. I try not to use it because I don't want to ruin the petals here. But whenever I use this, the blusher still seems so new, so untouched, and the rose petals prints is still here. <laughs> I would say it got hardened along the years because yeah, this has already been with me for few years. The single blusher comes in 17 gram. I think it's too huge as a blusher. I can never hit pen on a blusher. <laughs> And after a while, I think two years ago, I bought this mini trail and it comes with these three mini blushes and these blushes are so pretty. Pretty colours as well as the packaging. I also did a swatch and review of this palette as well as some other Milani products years ago. And if you are interested, I will just link it over here on the screen as well as in the description box below. So this Blossom Time comes with a rosy coral colour with a soft gold glow. This colour is a little light on me. Would be good for dears who either like a light colour blush which will go well with heavy eye makeup or lip makeup. Or will be good for dears with lighter skin tone. I am not sure how heavy is the pigmentation as the colour is light on me. But with just one layer, I can see the colour on my cheeks. And I tend to build up more layers especially when I need to shoot videos as I'll be surrounded with strong lightings as I can't see the colour well. I like that this looks so glowy on my cheeks and this blusher applies well on my skin, doesn't look so powdery on my cheeks. It faded by the end of the day, especially when we wear this blusher under the surgical mask. Pretty colour, pretty packaging. Doesn't last on me, like the colour though. Will be great for dears with lighter skin tone. I am very much into liquid or cushion blusher since we started wearing mask. As liquid and cushion blusher is more forgiving of my mature textured skin, they adhere on my skin better and doesn't emphasize on my middle seats and they look more natural. This Milani Cheek Kiss Liquid Blush has a gel to cream texture. It blends evenly and smoothly on my cheeks. Look how glowy they are when I'm blending these liquid blushes. I like to use my fingers to blend. Sponge Blender will take away some of the product Hence, will reduce the colour payoff. And I like this is fragranceless. Watson's used to carry four colours, which is in the edition number 130 Cheeky Coral. However, now they are only left with these three colours, and most stores are actually only carrying these two colours, which is the 110 Nude Flush and 120 Pink Flirt. So far, I only see the bigger store like the Boogie Watson's carrying this colour 140 Rose Romance and I regret not getting the coral. I bought this colour number 120 Pink Flirt yesterday. I actually do not want to get this because just based on the packaging colour and the colour description which is a watermelon pink. I don't know, I just don't find that this pink is appealing to me. I find that this is like the hot Barbie pink which is not suitable for my skin tone. <laughs> But the completionist side of me bought this colour just for this video today. And when I did a hand swatch and applying this on the cheeks for the first time, I'm quite surprised I'm wrong. This colour is pretty and in fact I think it adds some youthfulness to my skin. Colour payoff is much better when I apply base makeup. Otherwise we need to build up more layers for the colour intensity. These blushes comes with a sheer base. There are two colours which are the 110 Nude Flush and number 120 Pink Flirt are more sheer. We need to build up the intensity. Number 140 Rose Romance has the highest colour payoff on the cheek among these three liquid blushes. Hence, when we use this colour, start off with a little amount and this blusher will last you a long long time. This colour is also the most long lasting on the cheeks even when this is transferred on the surgical mask. The other two colours faded while I wore a mask. 
pretty colors forgiving on my mature textured skin and number 140 rose romance has the highest color payoff and this is the most long lasting this lip balm has a mild sweet rose taste on the lips <laughs> there is something interesting about this lip balm this lip balm has a ph polymer ingredient that will leave a different pink tint according to the individual skin's response wow and this is how it appears on my skin after a while it has the same moisturizing feel as of their fetish shine lipsticks it gives my lips a doin doin juicy shiny look my lines are greatly reduced my lips feel so good with this lip balm the moisturizing feel lasted for a few hours when it disappeared my lips still feel moisturized it is enriched with rose oil coconut oil vitamin e and aloe leaf extract so actually on the packaging box over here this portion rose oil blend it stated that this rose oil blend is enhanced with monk's fruit extract monk fruit is a superfood and this is a sweet medicine their sweetness doesn't contain sugar so it doesn't affect our weight and blood sugar level Ooh. and for us we always like to brew monk's fruits when we have sore throat and phlegm because it helps to soothe our throat and also remove the phlegm I am surprised there's actually monk fruit extract over here in this lip balm no wonder it tastes a little sweet this lip balm comes with a very mild rose scent but it doesn't linger on the lips and it doesn't irritate me because I prefer a no fragrance lip products and I will get super irritated when the scent gets into my mouth and linger in my mouth the whole day but this doesn't good lip balm love it great for dears like me with a dry, wrinkly lips. I can't find this color at Watson website. This is gifted to me by Milani. When I saw this color, I thought I wouldn't have bought this color myself. <laughs> but now that I have this color, I won't use this alone on my lips. Except for doing demo purpose. I've already worn this lip plumper a lot of times and I like to mix with their fetish matte lipsticks and surprisingly, this pink color it looks like a Barbie hot pink. It mixes well with their lipstick color. And this is the combination I have it on my lips right now. I always like to use a gloss over a lipstick. This Keep It Full Nourishing Lip Plumper has a mild, vanilla-y, minty scent. It has tiny glitters in it. This lip plumper doesn't stink my lips. My lips actually feel that this is a normal lip gloss with a slightly thicker texture when I apply them on the lips. Initially, I don't find that my lips is thicker but now that I'm surrounded with cameras and lightings, I realize my lips are fuller. <laughs> I am not used to this and finds it weird and I find that this is out of my facial proportion. <laughs> but it really shows that this lip plumper works. The lip plumper is not sticky or has the suffocating feel on my lips. From the Watson Singapore website, I can see that there are two or three more colors, some with sparkles, some without. So if there's any color that suits you and you like to have a fuller lips look, you may want to consider this. I will not talk about this eyeshadow palette because it came in broken. This is the most wanted eyeshadow palette and this color is the 130 Burning Rose. This is basically a coral color. And last year, this palette is actually on my wish list, but I didn't buy it. So can you just imagine how happy I was when I found out that Milani is giving this palette for the giveaway? And how excited I was when I won this eyeshadow palette? Alas, it came in broken. It comes with no protective layers like the bubble wraps, etc. And the last two colors over here got shattered into powder. These two colors and it contaminate the whole palette. I still have a little powder here left, but it's basically good as nothing. <laughs> After clearing up, I only left with four colors. Wanted to buy this, but there is no stock. <laughs> so I haven't used this eyeshadow palette at all. This is gifted to me by Milani. This Gilded Girl eyeshadow palette is a gold neutral with a pop of green color story. It is more of the autumn color scheme. When I first saw this palette, 
look at the color stories, I immediately reminded of my subculture palette from ABH. But just by the visual comparison, you can see that actually these two palettes look quite different. This gilded gold has more gold, more shimmery, sparkly colors, and the colors over here seem deeper. So the other palette I thought of would be the Natasha Denona Gold Palette without the reds. And I feel that this gilded gold looks more like the Natasha Denona Gold Palette. At the same time, the Natasha Denona Gold is discontinued. So if you are trying to look out for the palette, or you want to find a more affordable deal, you can consider this Milani Gilded Gold Palette. The colors in this palette are mostly mid to deep tones. I find that it lacks of the highlighter colors. I usually prefer a lighter highlighter color. We can use the neutral colors to create a daily natural look, the darker colors for evening looks or even smoky looks, and the pop of green for a fun look. We can create several different looks over here. This first column is great to create natural looks. The last column is great for creating evening looks, darker looks, and also it will be more suitable for deers with a darker skin tone. This is a 15 pants eyeshadow palette. It has 5 matte colors over here, and the rest, 10, are the shimmery colors. Both the matte and the shimmery colors are smooth, pigmented, finely milled goes on and blends out smoothly. Some shimmers contain tiny little specks of sparkles. I will just share briefly with you dears my experience with the individual colors over here. I've already created a number of looks with this palette. So usually, <laughs> to make sure that I've already used up all the colors, I create looks based on the column over here column by column. So let me start off with this first color which is awesome. This is a shimmery light gold color. And rose nuggets, this is a shimmery with sparkle colors, is my most favorite colors here. It has sparkles in it but on the eyes it's not so sparkling. And this is matte which is very smooth. Like I said just now, all the colors over here are funny milled, they are pigmented, they are creamy, easy to blend out not much fall out. And continuing with this color, the fourth color, 24K, this is a shimmery color and this is very smooth. And this is the next color, Chow Bella, if I pronounce it correctly. <laughs> this is a shimmery with sparkle colors, but it is not sparkling on the eyes. And next, this is the Extra Basics, it's a matte color. It is intense, but this color is very near to my natural skin color. And I'm using this color here on the crease today. This is Van Boyd. This is a matte color. It is pigmented, but this matte color is less pigmented than the rest of the colors, especially comparing to the shimmery colors. Nowadays, I will just use a sponge tip applicator as shown in the eye makeup demo. And when I use the sponge tip applicator to apply, I must at least apply two layers to see the colors on the eyes and to get them even on the eyes. This is Ultra Gilded. This is a shimmery with sparkling yellow gold. And this is very sparkly, both on the eyes and also on the hand swatch. This is Eden. This is a forest dark green matte color. Again, when I was using this color, I applied this with a sponge tip applicator. I was very amazed when I laid the first layer on the outer corner of my eyes. The color is so intense. It is also very opaque. However, when I flip to the clean side of the sponge tip applicator to blend, to blur out the boundary from one color to another color, the color immediately faded. So I have to build up the color again. And this is Boss Lady. It's a shimmery formula with sparkles and this is a coppery color. I will say on the eyes, it has a moderate sparkly effect. This is Cleopatra. It's a shimmery brown color. This is what I have on the lid over here as well as the lower eyelid here. It is smooth and I like the natural look of it. And this is Crown Jewel. This is a shimmery color. It is smooth and pigmented. This is Dioro if I didn't pronounce it wrongly. Anyway, I think I've already inserted the text. <laughs> this 
This is a shimmery with sparkle formula. It's a more muted gold. It contains sparkles as well and this is sparkly on both the eyes as well as the hand swatch. For the throne, this is a shimmery dual chrome with sparkles. This is the only dual chrome colors over here in this palette. It has a brown blue flip. And on the eyes, it is not so sparkly. And the last color over here is a matte brown. It is smooth, it is intense, it doesn't fade like this green color over here which I mentioned just now. I also used a sponge tip applicator to use this last color over here. And when I flip to the clean side to blend out, the opacity still remains. And I always like to use this color as the auto color over here. And I'm using this color over here now. For the longevity, I created several looks with it and I've taken photos and videos about it from the start time to the end time and see will it last me on for the whole day. So these are some of the looks and the recordings. So basically, as you just probably can see, they have good longevity on my eyes. Sometimes, some eyeshadow palettes fix on my eyelid fast. But I would say this Milani Gilded Gold palette last on me and they are good. Overall, I really enjoy all the products I've used over here except for this Melody Most Wanted eyeshadow palette which came in broken and I haven't used this at all. And these are the three Milani products that I reach out for more frequently than the rest and it's also my most favorite among the rest. And if you are a Milani lover or you have similar makeup problems as me or similar skin condition as me, you may like to consider these three makeup products from Milani. Firstly will be their Cheap Kiss Liquid Blusher followed by their Rose Lip Balm and this Good Up Go Eyeshadow Palette. <laughs> I hope that this video is helpful for you dears. And now dears, it's your turn to share with me. Which is your most favorite Milani products you have tried so far. And last but not least, here's an inner beauty tip for us to be more beautiful and more wise. Found this from the internet, from Milani. Life begins after coffee and makeup. Thank you dear so much for watching. If you like this video, please consider to subscribe and click the bell notification button below for my future videos. I love to do makeup products review and beauty related videos. So if this is a crop tea, please join in my YouTube family. And yes, if you'd like to connect with me more, please visit me at my Instagram and Facebook platform. Over there, I'll be posting more of a lifestyle post. The address will be over here on the screen. May you dears have a peaceful, blissful and joyful week ahead. See you next time. Bye! And before I go, please check out these two videos over here. Thank you!